Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a full face of Dior. I could not resist some of the limited edition Dior holiday looks. So we are going to be playing with some of the gorgeous releases from Dior. I have the new luminizer here. I could not resist this gorgeous packaging. We're going to be creating this holiday look using this gorgeous eye palette. I also picked up some of their holiday lippies. We've got the fun lip sequins. These like sell out every year. And then I love the Dior Attic lipsticks is one of my favorite formulas. And I like to collect their beautiful little lipstick cases. This one was calling my name. And then I just pulled out some of my favorite products from Dior. We're going to be using my favorite combo for complexion. I've got the contour stick and a few other Dior favorites. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this Dior holiday look, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I am a little bit excited. Today we are going to do a full face of Dior, but I'm specifically going to be creating one of their gorgeous holiday looks. I had to pick up some of their limited edition holiday goodies. I have to say this holiday packaging from Christian Dior is totally getting me in the spirit. And I just thought we'd have fun creating a little holiday look today. So let's unbox some of these beauties. Number one, really beautiful packaging. I love the little bow here. I did pick up the new luminizer. How gorgeous is this? The packaging is stunning. And I picked this up in shade number one. This is the Or Lumiere. Beautiful gold highlighter. It's so we are gonna have a little fun creating a special look today. I also picked up the limited edition eye palette in the Soir de Ball. How beautiful is this? They had two different gorgeous holiday looks, but this one right here with this gorgeous sort of purple shade, this little cool gray, I don't know, this one just looked like it was gonna be stunning on the eyes. And then I could not resist this limited edition lip attic case. Is this so pretty? I love this gold and silver white packaging. I just think it is so stunning just super elegant and pretty. And the thing that I love about these limited edition cases is that you can put in your favorite lip attic lipstick and they're refillable. So it's just kind of fun because you can use your favorite lipstick um, and then kind of interchange these lip cases. I have so many of these pretty ones that I sort of collect. So really thought this was a gorgeous case that I could not pass on. And then I got my hand on some of the lip sequins. These literally sell out like every year. So I was so excited to get my hands on these. And these little lip sequins are literally holiday in a lippy. It is so fun to wear. I can't wait to show you. Um, basically, you're going to put it on, you kind of let it dry, and then you do get a little bit of glitter in the best way possible on your lips. It's very subtle, very pretty, and you know I'm not somebody who loves like super metallic lips, but I actually really like these. So I can't wait to show you those. And then we're going to be using some of my favorite complexion products. Products. The new Dior launches have just been knocking it out of the park. I'm so in love with their Forever Skin Perfect Stick Foundation. If you have not tried this yet, it is a definite win. You've heard me talk about it. I love their contour stick. You know, I'm just going to pull out all my favorite goodies. And my favorite combination right now is to use their Forever Glow. This is the Star Filter 
This can be literally worn on its own, but if you are wanting to create the most gorgeous little complexion. Um, these two together are magical. So I'm going to start with the little magical combo and I am just going to kind of clip my hair back here and then I am going to be using this Forever Glow Skin Filter. I'm in the shade 2N which is sort of like my perfect you know, I literally can wear this as foundation, which I do on many days with just a little concealer. That's how much I love this stuff. This is what it looks like. And it is just so beautiful. So what I do is I literally take a pump and then I like to just use my hands with this product right here. And I'm just going to place this all over my face. Yep, it go underneath my eyes as well. It is just going to brighten up your skin and give it a really nice glow but what I'm trying to say is it's not going to look fake. Um, it is going to give you like this really healthy glow I'm hoping you can see on camera here but it doesn't look like you know glitter or anything like that. Um, the glow filter is a great name for it because it does it just kind of filters your skin and I don't know if you can see on camera but it just sort of evens out my skin it kind of blurs definitely gives me a little filter a nice little glow and it's also hydrating so it's a perfect way to prime your skin and what I like to do is oftentimes I will just use this with a little bit of concealer like on day-to-day -day makeup but today we're wanting to do a little special holiday look and I want to have a more perfected look. And that is when I pull out my Dior Forever Skin Perfect Foundation Stick. This is like literally the silkiest, butteriest foundation ever. Um, I did learn the hard way. Uh, you do not need a lot. A little is going to go a long way. And it has like the most buttery, silkiest consistency. So it's easy to kind of um, go into heavy handed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and just come right down the midline. I have this in the shade 2.5 in and it really does totally work with my skin tone. Um, but I do think that for the winter months, I could get another shade right now. Right now, I feel like the color is still working on my complexion and it also gives my skin a little bit of life. Then I'm gonna come in and then buff that into my skin. Okay, this has been my little favorite combo. I don't know if you can tell, but skin just looks healthy, glowy, um, and it looks like skin, but it's definitely perfected. And then I am going to come in with my Dior Lip Glow Oil, and we're going to kind of prep my lips here. Now I'm going to be taking my Dior Forever Skin Perfect contour stick and I have this in the shade one and this is like the perfect little contour color here and what I'm going to do is I am going to do a little shadow I'm coming from like the top of my ear here and just coming down here I like to do some on my forehead up here just to shorten it I am going to come down the sides of my nose here a little bit here and then I like to come underneath my chin to kind of give a little shadow there
Okay, just created a little bit of shadow on the face. Then we're gonna pop on a little bit of blush. And these are literally the best. These are the Dior Rosy Glow blushes. And then they came out with the Rosewood color and this quickly became a favorite of mine. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on and then we'll kind of move on to the eyes. But kind of want to pop on a little pretty flush on the cheeks. These can look intense in the pan, especially like the pink shade looks like super fuchsia, but it looks just like it's called the healthy glow. It's just going to give your skin a nice fresh glow that's going to be long lasting, um, but you don't need to be scared about some of the darker colors. They're all super pretty. I would say my two favorites are the original like pink. I love this rosewood. The coral is really pretty as well. So I'm just going to And then I pulled out my Dior. This is my Forever Cushion Powder. This is such a beautiful kind of light sheer powder that is just gonna perfect the skin. I actually, like when I wear this on the day to day, I don't always powder down, but since we are doing kind of a holiday look, that is when I'm going to come in with a little bit of powder here. And what I'm gonna do, and I'm just dipping in here and then I just kind of come down and I want to keep the glow going on and that's what the beauty of that powder is. It's not going to take away the glow but since I am using kind of cream products this will lock it into place. Okay, we have a nice little base going on. I am dying to play with this gorgeous eye palette. Is that not gorgeous or what? And here is a swatch of this quint right here. And I will admit, I was super attracted to this color. I thought that would help kind of pop my hazel green eyes. I think it's going to be such a pretty look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with these two colors here. I'm going to come into this kind of soft, it's almost like a little shell pink color here. And we are going to place that down all over the lid here. It's got a little pretty kind of iridescent to it. Definitely creating a little fun holiday eye. Okay, then we're going to come over to this soft brown shade here. And with this, I want to come into this crease. And if it's anything like any of my other Dior eye quints, they're all kind of meant to go together. They kind of layer beautifully on top of each other. And that is so pretty. You see how they just meld. The whole color story kind of comes together. So I am just coming right in here. And I want to use all the colors today to show you this look. Okay, this is what I've created so far. Really pretty wash. And then we're going to come over to this gorgeous color right here and I took a little bit of a smaller more detailed brush here and I want to come right in to this crease and add a little bit of oomph to this eye. I am starting out with a light hand here so don't worry we can build anything up but I do want to show you all the colors so I don't want to 
go in too heavy handed. Each little color as I'm putting them on, I just feel like it creates such a pretty mirage on the eyes. Um, and I don't want, you know, one color to stand out versus another. I kind of want this all to blend in beautifully. So adding some of this pink shade right up over here. really pretty and then I'm so excited for this gorgeous kind of smoky purple shade and what I'm going to do is I'm still using more of a detailed brush over here and I'm going to come to the outer corner here. I'm also going to use like a little eyeliner as well um, brush and I'm going to add some of that near the lash line. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh wow, that is so pretty. That's what I'm saying. As I'm creating this eye look, it's all kind of coming together. Don't worry, I will blend everything. But I'm just wanting to show you the colors and how you can kind of create a really special holiday look here. So I'm just taking that purple shade towards that outer corner and then I'm coming a little bit in. I'm going to take a fluffy brush in a minute and I'll kind of blend everything before we put this pop shade on. And I also want to come in with a little liner. I really want to use this as my eyeliner, actually. Okay, here is what I've created so far. And then coming in with a thin eyeliner brush. And what I'm going to do, I'll actually start a little bit on the bottom because I want to add some of that purple to the bottom lash line. Really pretty. And then I'm gonna intensify that on my upper lash line. Okay, a little purple mirage eye here, and then we're gonna come in with this such a beautiful pop shade here. And look, it's got like a little blue pop. This just kind of screams holiday to me. I am gonna use my finger here, and I'm just gonna tap it kind of right above my iris. We might bring it a little bit to the inner corner. I know when I use my fingers, sometimes it's hard for you to see, but um, with these sort of pop shades, it's the easiest to kind of pop them on that way. They're just really creamy and gorgeous, just like that. And what I'm gonna do is I will pop ooh, this on, definitely giving me some holiday vibes here. And coming over to the other side, I'm gonna blend this out. I am actually going to tap it a little bit more towards that inner eye here. That is so pretty. Okay, that is so pretty. Okay, what I want to do before we add anything else on, I want to go coat my lashes with the Dior Show Classic Iconic Over Curl Mascara. And then if we want, we can kind of intensify the eye look. But before we do that, I have the fun lip sequins to use. And I feel like those are also going to be the star of the show. So, so I kind of want to leave the eye this sort of ethereal look. It's definitely kind of fun and sparkly and I love the lavender and I love that sort of silvery blue. It's kind of reminding me of like holiday lights and ornaments and such. So let me go ahead put on the mascara and then we can decide. Okay, we have got on this gorgeous eye palette. 
I am loving this eye palette. Um, it's got some fun to it. It definitely feels festive, um, but it also, I feel like, is popping my hazel green eyes, and it's just kind of fun. So really beautiful colors. This is such a stunning kind of purple shade. I love this color story. So, so excited about that. Love the gold packaging. I'm just getting the holiday vibes going on. And then we're going to use this gorgeous luminizer. Literally the package to me is just stunning and I really do love the Dior luminizers because um, they're not too blingy if that makes sense. It's definitely going to give me a little bit of holiday glow. I'm just taking it on a little soft brush here and we are going to pop this highlighter. Ooh up on the tops of my cheeks here and I'll put some up in the brow bone as well but do you see how it's just going to give me a really pretty sheen on my cheeks we can actually go back and add blush if we think we need to I'm just going to come over here That's just really, really pretty. And to be honest, a lot of times I use these luminizers just literally on my eyes because they're just really pretty. So I will often just take a bronzer and put that in my crease and then use one of the luminizers just kind of right on the mobile lid for like a really simple but kind of impactful eye. Just so. know that yes, um, if you pick this up because you want the limited edition packaging, you definitely will get your wear out of it. You can use it in multiple ways and I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this highlighter to tie everything together just right up in that brow bone here. I'm gonna give myself a little lift here and right there. And then this will kind of tie the entire face together as well. I put a little bit of that in the inner corner as well. Okay, now we're going to have fun with some lippies. So with this, again, I told you I picked up the limited edition case and, and I ended up popping in one of my favorite shades from the Dior Attic line. And this is the shade Tie in Dior, which is a soft rose wood shade. So I thought it would go well with this overall look. Um, so maybe this would be my day shade. Say I'm going to a holiday day party. I might wear this, but I also could just go all out and use the lip sequins. And these are always so popular that they literally sell out. Right now on Dior, they have this really beautiful holiday lip sequin set. It comes with four of these with their limited edition colors. That would actually make a really fun gift for your beauty junkies. If you have anybody who loves Dior, um, that would be like such a fun set because it's going to come in the beautiful Christian Dior packaging. That is one of the reasons I like to order off the Dior site. <laughs> You always get extra goodies, by the way. So I'll show you what I got with my purchase, but let's go ahead and put on these lip sequins. The first one is shade 323, which is Dazzle, and 353, which is Liaison. So I am going to do lip swatches of both, but what makes these so unique and cool is it's a liquid lipstick. You let it dry and then when you rub your lips together all of a sudden it's like magic and the little glitter comes out. It's actually quite cool. I don't know exactly the technology but we are going to start with Liaison here. This is this one right here and I'm going to show you how this works.
Isn't that a pretty color? And I'm not generally somebody who loves liquid lipsticks, but I will tell you, um, these are not drying on the lip. So I'm letting this dry down, and then I'm gonna show you what happens when we bring our lips together. So let me show you here. You rub them together, just like that. And then all of the sudden, the magical little shimmer comes out on the lips, the little sequins, but it's not too much. As I said, I'm not a huge fan of like the metallic looking lips, but this I actually think is fun because I'm just getting a little bit of sparkle on the lips. It's not like, oh, hello, you have total glitter on your mouth. It is like kind of a fun, you kind of have to come up and then you will see that I've got a little bit of glitter there. It's like little fun and magical. So here is this overall look using Liaison, this color right here. Um, but then I'm gonna show you Dazzle. I think this one might be my favorite. So let me go take this off and we'll put this one on. Next is the shade Dazzle. Now I love this shade. We're gonna let this dry and then I will rub my lips together and then the little sequins will appear. And while we're waiting for that to dry, um, it says that this is a transfer proof lipstick and 12 hour wear. And this is supposed to be an eye catching festive finishing touch to any holiday look. And I will say these are so fun. And part of the reason I like to order from Dior is I always get extras. And I got a sample of the Sauvage Elixir. Uh, my husband actually just bought the Sauvage Forte uh, Maison Francis Kirkjean um, is the new creator at Dior and he created a new version of the Sauvage and it definitely smells amazing. It's a little bit more niche than the typical Sauvage, which I love. It's just a really fresh cologne. It is a bestseller for a reason. And let's go ahead. I'm going to bring my lips together and then it's so cool because the little um, glitter appears out of nowhere. It's so cool and again it's just not too much. It's almost like um, you're just gonna have a little dazzle on your lips and again this is the shade dazzle which I love. I think it is such a perfect color. And I am a longtime fan of the Dior Privé line and I am excited because they had recently launched um, new look and I wanted to see what they had created. I'm gonna take a quick smell here. I don't know if that's what we're gonna wear today, but Mm. But this is one of the reasons I always order online is because I always get to try like their Privé line that can be harder to get samples of. Like I don't live in a city um, where they actually sell this line. So, so I'm so excited and I had in previous years bought the little sample set. This is another great set that I saw on Dior that's going to let you get um, a really Really nice size of the perfume so that you can kind of try them out um, before investing in a bigger size. I also have to share that besides having you know the bigger bottles of the ore they also have this awesome size and a lot of the difference 
fragrances, which is amazing because these are so easy to travel with. I love, love, love these. Uh, I love this size so much. I'm trying to decide what I want to wear today. Um, I'm kind of going between these two for my overall look. Vanilla Diorama. This is a spicy vanilla fragrance. It's so good. Mm. I love this one so much. This is gonna be hard. That one's kind of calling my name. Or Ombre Nui, which actually I think this is gonna be the winner. This is a repeat purchase. I had it in one of the bigger bottles and then I wanted to get one in more of the travel size. If you are somebody who loves amber scents, um, this literally is one of the best. To me, it is so sophisticated, so elegant, but it also has this sort of effervescent sparkliness to it that I love. So amber is going to be a warmer fragrance. Let me go ahead, put this on here. I love this one so much. I actually think this is like a really great um, signature scent. It is not too dense or heavy. It is an amber scent, so it's warm. It's going to be perfect for the holidays. But to me, it just screams elegance, sophistication. And again, it's got this sort of champagne touch, little effervescent touch to it that makes it extra special. So anyways, this is my final fun holiday look using some Dior goodies that I could not resist. Again, I love this highlighter. Yep, I did have to buy it due to the packaging. Just so darn cute. But I actually really like the way this looks on the face. Again, this makes a gorgeous eyeshadow as well. This pretty eye palette is just gorgeous. It does scream holidays to me. I think it is just a gorgeous color story. And as with all Dior eyeshadows, they're like really easy to blend. You do not have to put every single shadow on your eye to get an impact. I did today just because I wanted to show you the colors, but you could even use this eye palette on a day-to-day -day, like without the pop shades. I just think it'd be a really pretty kind of purple hazy color. It's so gorgeous. So really liking that. And again, I'm loving all the gold packaging. I had to pick up the limited edition lip attic case. I just think it's lovely. It's gorgeous. I kind of love the little bringing this out and putting your lipstick on. <laughs> Oh, kind of old school fun, but I just thought it would be fun to have both pieces from Dior. And then the liquid lip sequins. These are just a holiday in a lipstick. The cases are lovely. The colors are awesome. And they're just a lot of fun. And then I did want to go ahead and give a little shout out to my favorite combo. Seriously, love the Forever Glow Star Filter. That's a fave along with the Skin Perfect Stick Foundation. They hit it out of the ballpark. Love their contour. They just have been doing a fantastic job with all of their releases. And right now they just have a lot of fun holiday like gifts with purchases. So I hope you enjoyed this full face of Dior holiday look. I hope you have an amazing day and I will be back with another video soon.